Hey, I'm Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at Interop Las Vegas 2012 in the knock at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center for early setup. And I'm sitting next to Pat from NetScout. Pat, thank you very much for hey, coming Father. on. Now, Pat is part of the team that provides monitoring for Interop. Now, tell me, how does that happen? How do you do it? And why do we do it? Well, what we want to do is we want to see every packet in and, the net, in and out of the network here. So to do that, we'll actually start at the very edge. We'll be on the internet borders. So we actually take our CenturyLink handoffs. We'll actually go and we'll tap in line. And we'll catch every segment all the way down there. Why is it that we have to tap so many different parts of the network? I, I know that we tap here on the show floor. We tap in the core. We tap in our externals. We tap in the colo. What's with all the tapping? That's a great question. Uh, the thing is, every segment you mentioned, we probably have a different vendor involved. So what we like to do is we, we have to be able to see anyone at any time. So what we want to do is any circuit that we traverse, we'll actually have that as a different monitoring and reference point. The example would be if I have part of the PEDs working or part of the show floor and the rest of the show floor is up and running, I can isolate and triage my problem area down. I got it. So for example, uh, we need taps going between, uh, if I'm a packet, between the outside, the colo, through the circuit, and then a tap on the other side, and then a tap at, say, the knock, and then a tap on the show floor and the classrooms, so that at any point along the way, you can tell exactly where that packet is going wrong, or exactly where the traffic's not getting through. Absolutely correct, and if that wasn't hard enough, we'll actually throw in layers of complexity and redundancy. <laughs> so any circuit you just talked about, we probably have at least two or more paths. So all of those have to be visible if something comes up. Now that means you're recording an awful amount of data at every show. We so are. How much do you capture? We are capturing terabytes and terabytes of data every show. Our, our two real strengths are we have correlation of the data and we can get it in a meaningful informational format. The other thing we can do is we have that index where we can go back in time. So if we had an anomaly tonight at 2 a.m., we come in tomorrow and need to find out what happened, we can actually roll back the clock, look at the packets, and see what the impact was and what happened. And who did it and then yeah, yeah. kill them. Correct. Good, good. Now, take me through this, because this is a really interesting screen. Show me some of the cool things that NetScout can help me figure out about the traffic throwing through my network. Well, from the, the basics of the network, what we want to do is just provide the transport and show that it's working. So in this set of screens, what I can do is I can take all of those segments we spoke about, put them together, I have elements on my left side. On the right side, I can actually put those different segments together in groupings and see how they're performing. So in this case, I can see every circuit. I can start on the edge of CenturyLink. I can see my DMZ connections, what traffic is going on in there. I can actually start flowing all the way down to Mandalay Bay and see who is consuming what part of the traffic. Other things I can do is I can take those different segments that I'll go into, like we mentioned load balancers, firewalls. In this case, I have screens where I can actually show if my load balancers are in fact balanced and what my overall traffic is. And all of this is just because you're capturing traffic from segment to segment, so you can figure out where it's starting to bottleneck. Right. What we want to do is be able to, if we do have an, a problem on a segment or an anomaly, we want to be able to drill in there. Also, this gives us a reference point, too. If someone calls right now on the phone and says it's not performing, I can say, what's it doing now? How did it look the last hour? Has this been trending? Did this build up to a situation? Also, they might call and it was an absolute anomaly. It might have just spiked and peaked and absolutely everything's working fine right now. So this gives us a reference point what we need to do next. Fantastic. Now, of course, the best place for them to see this technology is to, well, to come here, to come to an interrupt. Maybe not this one, but one of them, to see it in action. But assuming that they can't come to here, to booth 2501, where should they go on the internet to find out more about NetScout and what you can do for their network? NetScout.com. Pat, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks, Thank buddy. you for showing us what's going on in our network. And uh, stay tuned because we're going to show you more about what's going on at Interop Las Vegas 2012. Thank <laughs> you.